Welcome back to California Weather Forecast. You could probably imagine what we're going to be talking about today. It is that excessive heat warning that you can see basically covering the entire state of California. Now, yesterday was already pretty warm, and unfortunately, both today and tomorrow are looking even warmer. So if we look at what's causing all this heat and these warm temperatures right now, it's really this high pressure system that's been slowly building in over the last few days, and it's going to be peaking throughout the day today. It's at its strongest point this afternoon, and then tomorrow it should be easing up a little bit, but we're still gonna have some temperatures 25 to 35 degrees above average throughout the valley. The one good news for tomorrow's forecast is we'll have a little bit more of an onshore breeze, which means the coast will be a little bit cooler. But first things first, let's just get a, get a grip on where we are, and a great place to start with that is looking at what our temperatures were yesterday. These were some of the highs throughout the state. You can see very southeastern parts of the state extremely warm up into the triple digits and even reaching some temperatures up into the 113, 115 range. Throughout the valley, we hit the triple digits in numerous locations. And then just yesterday, I was driving between Morgan Hill and San Jose and the temperature on the car consistently said temperatures around 95 degrees. So warm temperatures yesterday and unfortunately going to be even warmer today. So yesterday, this is what the temperature anomaly map looks like. This is actually my favorite map to look at because it just shows you how far off of your average temperature are you today. So what the temperature should be versus what it actually is. So yesterday, you can see many locations throughout the valley where 10 to 15 degrees above average. We had a couple of spots in the North Bay, very northern Sacramento Valley, southern San Joaquin Valley, that were maybe 20 degrees above average temperatures. But where this map gets unfortunate is when we look at what it's going to be looking like today. You can see majority of Sacramento Valley throughout the day today for your forecast for this afternoon, 25 to even 35 degrees above average. Very unfortunate to see that in the North Bay as well, where we're 25 to 30 degrees above average. The Santa Cruz Mountains look like the same story there. San Joaquin Valley, Central Coast, all about 20 to 25 degrees above average in those locations. So certainly warm today, but there is some good news on the way. If we look at tomorrow, parts of the coast are actually going to start to cool down, and we're actually are gonna, already going to be seeing that in parts of Southern California today. But... Throughout your Friday forecast, we're still seeing 25 to 35 degrees above average temperatures. So that's the big story. It's the, I think the hottest we've been this entire year. And you'll be able to see that when we look at the actual temperatures. So yesterday, looks like we had 100 in Sacramento, 100 in Stockton, San Francisco 71, San Jose 86. If we look at the forecast highs for this afternoon, you can see those temperatures are going way up. Up in Redding, we're getting up to 110. Sacramento, 113 degrees. Stockton, 109. San Jose, 95. And it looks like we're around 110 throughout the entire valley. So there is the possibility of breaking some records today. Stay tuned for tomorrow's forecast where I'll try to report on any records that might have been broken. But overall, you can see forecast highs for this afternoon looking extremely warm. And if we look at tomorrow, there's two things I want you to notice here. One, doesn't look like there's much change throughout the valley. There's even some locations in the valley that look like they get even a little bit warmer tomorrow by just a degree or two. Now, what's interesting, though, is San Francisco and many other parts of the coast actually start to cool down tomorrow because we're going to get some onshore winds pushing in from the ocean, and that brings some cooler, moister air. So the coast should actually be a great place to escape to tomorrow if you can perhaps take off work and head from the valley to Ocean Beach or Santa Cruz or something like that. But you can see overall still very warm tomorrow throughout much of the state. Coast will just be the one exception there if we get those onshore winds coming in the afternoon. So with all that heat, you can see we have this excessive heat warning in place clearly throughout much of the valley. That's very understandable. We're well above 100 degrees, but you can see it's actually even reaching into parts of the North Bay as well. And then we just have that heat advisory in places like the Santa Cruz Mountains, where you saw those temperatures were still warm 
but not 35 degrees above average. So one other graphic I like for the Sacramento Valley area is they actually categorize what that heat risk means. Because I know it can be kind of confusing sometimes, the different advisories and warnings. So I like this map because it just perfectly shows who is at risk from this heat. So where you see that magenta color, that means the entire population could be at risk. So everybody really needs to be careful about drinking lots of water, not getting dehydrated, staying in the shade, and not trying to do any strenuous activities outside. Where you have that red color, which covers the majority of the valley, that's where there's a high risk for much of the population. The orange color is more to those who are particularly sensitive to heat, and then that yellow color is more of the low risk category. So there are the different kind of categories of risk for depending on your sensitivity to the heat. I'd say just snapshot of this figure, if you're in the valley, that's where you're going to want to especially uh, take care to remain out of this heat. Now, the other graphic I like because it shows the coastal influence very well, you can see where that excessive heat warning is in place today. You can see stretches all the way up into the Monterey Peninsula. Like I said, parts of the North Bay covered in that excessive heat risk as well. But then if we look at it for Friday, that's where the coast starts to get some of that onshore flow and that excessive heat warning is gonna start to push back into the valley. Now, it's still certainly looking warm. We still have that heat advisory in effect, but it is at least encouraging to see that there could be some cooler air coming in tomorrow if you're closer to the coast. So speaking of the coast, we're actually already seeing some of that influence down in Southern California. You can see that marine layer just hanging out right along the coast. And I was looking at one weather map for Los Angeles and it looks like there's even the possibility of some drizzle in the next hour. So that would certainly be some great news for Los Angeles, although the temperatures are certainly still going to be warm. Just one last thing about Northern California, you can see that while the marine layer is in fact was in effect for Southern California, we're not seeing that marine layer for places like San Francisco or the Monterey Bay. Hopefully as those onshore winds start to pick up on Friday, some of that marine layer will return mm, Friday evening into Saturday morning, and that will really help with our temperatures up there. So big story for SoCal I'd say is that marine influence, although for the most part, temperature is still quite warm down in Southern California. Here's your forecast for today. You can see some parts of the southeastern parts of California up in the desert. That's where we could be getting up over 110 degrees, might even hit 120 in some places. I'll be sure to check if we break any records there. But where we have that coastal influence, you can see that little strip where we're not as hot. It's still going to be warm, most likely 75 right along the coast, but it's not 95 degrees like we're seeing in some places in Northern California. But with that being said, Los Angeles still expected to be 89 degrees, so while you might get some drizzle in the next hour, still going to be a hot day there. Bakersfield 110, Fresno 111, but... A great place to be would, down, would be down here in San Diego. You're really feeling that marine influence just getting up maybe into 70 degrees throughout the day today. Then if we look at tomorrow, it's a pretty similar story. If you're farther inland, that's where you could be getting up above 110, up to 120 in some places. Bakersfield and Fresno both actually looking hotter tomorrow, getting up to 116 degrees. Los Angeles, you're still right in the mid 80s Riverside. 95 degrees, but we still do have those onshore winds bringing some of that marine influence on into the coastal areas, which is great to see there. And it looks like it really starts to push in to the Monterey Bay tomorrow afternoon. So that's going to be great for places like Salinas. So this was the graphic that was put forward by the Los Angeles National Weather Service office and shows this cute Cute, uh, what kind of dog is this? A bulldog on some ice? That certainly looks nice right now. It's only about, what, 10 in the morning right now? And it, I think it's already about 80 degrees outside where I'm located. So that looks pretty nice right now, but you can see the temperatures, not exactly anything that you should take lately. Some places up to 105 to 110 in Antelope Valley, foothills and mountains, 
90 to 100, and then in the valleys, 93 to 103. And then they do give some great advice for what you can do to not be as affected by this heat wave. You could limit outdoor activities, wear light colored, lightweight clothing, seek shade, drink plenty of water. And then I think this is actually the big one. Never leave humans or pets in a hot vehicle. This is something I've been looking into recently. It's how fast your car can heat up. So if you're parked somewhere that's about 90 degrees, in only a matter of 10 minutes, the air inside your car gets above 100 degrees. Within 30 minutes, it'll be up above 110, 120 degrees. So that's where you don't realize how fast a car can heat up, but it really can, especially when we have temperatures that are as warm as they will be the next two days. So just a quick summary, I think this map basically sums it up. This is the temperature anomaly. You can see throughout much of California and especially in our valleys and North Bay, we're 25 to 35 degrees above average temperatures throughout the day today. And then looking at tomorrow, it's a similar story. Some parts of the valley could actually be getting even a little bit hotter tomorrow, but where we will start to get some relief is on those coastal locations that should pick up a little bit more of that onshore breeze tomorrow, bringing your temperatures down if you're in places like San Francisco Bay or Monterey Bay. So overall, I think this sums up what's going on. We have an excessive heat warning up and down California. We have many locations getting above 100 degrees, some locations getting above 110. So be sure to take this heat seriously today and stay tuned for tomorrow's forecast where I'll try to find any records that have been broken throughout the day today and I'll report on them tomorrow. So stay safe out there. I hope you find a way to remain cool and thank you for watching.